In this video, I want us to look at uh, graph transformations combined with inverse trig graphs. So we're going to sketch y is equal to minus arc cos of x minus 1. Okay? So the first thing to do is really to draw what arc cos of x looks like. Let's remind ourselves of that. So, arc cos looks something like this. Oh, that wasn't very good. Let's try again. Well, a little bit better. That'll have to do. Okay, so, it's going, has a domain, rather, between minus 1 and 1, and it has a range between 0, there's pi over 2, and that's pi. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to transform this graph. First of all, well, you could do these in either order, you can see that that means that we've got a translation by the vector 1, 0. So this graph is going to shift along 1 to the right. And this means that it's affecting the y's, a reflection, and so it's going to be a reflection in the x-axis. So, if it's shifted 1 to the right, let's do the translation first. That was very poor. Let me try that again. Not doing too well with my sketches today. Okay, that will have to do. So this is going from 1, 0 to 1. That point is um, 1 half, oh sorry, 0 to 2. And that point is 1, that's pi over 2. And that point is pi. Okay. And then we're going to reflect it in the x-axis. Okay, so we're going to have this point. It's going to look something like, not like that. Let's try it again. Something like that. My curve seems a bit shoddy. So 1, 2, this point would be minus pi over 2. And this point is minus pi. Okay, so it looks something like that. So we did the translation first, that was our first step, and then we performed the reflection in the x-axis. Okay, so it's really being able to identify the key points on the trig graph, and then perform the translation, and then the reflection, or any kind of transformation on that curve, and then identifying the key points as you go. You can do it in stages like that if you like, or you can go directly from this one to this one. It's up to you. 